we have two major events coming this Friday. So first of all, Bitcoin is halving, which means that the miners' rewards are getting cut in half, which might get a, a little bit less of the pressure on selling and usually tends to increase the price. Of course, historical data doesn't mean that this will happen in the future, so you shouldn't take any financial decision based on that. The other thing is that rooms are also coming to the market. So uh, if you know about ordinals already, those are Bitcoin NFTs and based on ordinals, there was created a standard called BRC20 imitating ERC20, which was supposed to be for meme coins and other coins built on top of Bitcoin. Uh, however, uh, Casey, the creator of ordinals decided that uh, he has better ideas for how meme coins should be done uh, on Bitcoin and created a new protocol standard called Runes. And that's what we're talking about in this video. So Runes is basically a different approach to how you can create Bitcoin, uh, how you can create meme coins on top of the Bitcoin. Uh, using uh, a little bit different mechanism than what BRC20 are doing and probably uh, saving you uh, around three, uh, three times uh, the, the amount you would spend on gas and also making it a little bit easier. We're going to see how it works out because runes are about to start and launch on this Friday on the, exactly the date of the halving. So this is pretty interesting because there will be a lot of people uh, following that. And uh, if you want to get prepared, I'm going to go uh, with this video and basically give you a couple of things you can look at. So first of all, a couple of things. What we, you will need in general is uh, a wallet, Xverse wallet, and a little bit of understanding. So starting with runes, as I've mentioned, a new standard uh, built by uh, Casey Rodermore uh, on Twitter, and you, they, they uh, runes should be a better version of BRC20. Now, uh, there will be a couple of airdrops happening. So I was already talking on my channel about Runestone. Runestone is this uh, the biggest collection or at least one of the biggest collections of Bitcoin ordinals that was airdrop, a uh, pretty fair launch to everyone that hold at least three different ordinals or three ordinals uh, in general uh, from the first year of ordinals existing because they were just created in 2023. Uh, and basically Le Leonidas was one of the inventors of runestones but basically the, the whole thing is community run uh, and the idea here is that runestones are also the preparation for runes uh, because the idea behind runes was already for a couple of months at least so if you hold a runestone or if you buy a runestone i don't know if it's still available or if it's still happening right now but if you hold a runestone and you hold it uh, for uh, some time you should be able to get some kind of a runes airdrop uh, or probably some airdrops also in the future. So basically the Leonidas is trying to uh, have this idea, the strategy that basically Runestone is your entry into the Runes world, especially that if you don't know what to do, basically just download Xverse app, uh, buy a Runes, uh, Runestone and you will receive free runes, which is a pretty great idea. We're going to see how it plays out. I think there are at least three different airdrops coming to Runestone holders, which is pretty nice. So if you don't know how to start, basically uh, the idea is that, well, most of the people don't know how to start. The easiest thing to do will be, there will be many exchanges that will be listing uh, runes and you should just think about them as different meme coins. So in the end, you will have a standard thing uh, to interact with. So for example, I can mention here Saturn, uh, Saturn BTC, you will, you will find them on Twitter at Saturn uh, BTC. Uh, they are planning to integrate runes on the launch. And as you can see, this is pretty much similar to Uniswap or any other decentralized exchange. So easy to connect, you connect the wallet and you have one of the wallets here, Xverse, Leather, Unisat, whatever you prefer here, or Magic Eden wallet, whatever you prefer here, probably Xverse and Unisat are the most popular wallets right now when it comes to uh, doing things on Bitcoin. So if you have one of those wallets and some BTC, you should be fine and basically you'll be able to do swaps. Saturn BTC offers you for now uh, different ways to uh, to swap BRC20 tokens and I'm going to show you a couple of other projects as well. Uh, also Sovereign is coming to Runes, they want to integrate trading, this is another protocol that another exchange that will list a bunch of Runes, so you definitely will be good here. Um, now a couple of people are talking about running your full Bitcoin, uh, full node on Bitcoin um, and the biggest thing for that is basically being able to um, operate and directly send 
uh, rooms or try to buy them uh, even though the website doesn't work because uh, if you use one of those websites like Saturn or maybe I mentioned Satoshi also, BTX as well uh, or Sovereign, then basically you're relying also on the website working and if there's heavy traffic then that actually might crash. So that's why people are setting up full nodes in order to for example edge runes. So we're going to talk about etching in a moment uh, because there's etching and minting when it comes to runes. Uh, but basically the idea here is that uh, you don't want to be reliant on the external software or external nodes. Uh, you want to have your own node in order to be able to etch runes in that first couple of hours. Uh, why is that important? Because usually people tend to value things that have provenance, that are first. This is the things that happened with ordinals, for example. The first, for example, 10,000 or 100,000 uh, ordinals were, uh, were really valuable or still are because they were the first. They will be always the first. And this will be similar case here with runes. So that's why the first couple of hours after halving will be super hectic. People will be searching for uh, interesting runes uh, to buy uh, and they wanted to get, it, uh, get on them first. So if you're trying to really go uh, hard on runes, uh, then setting up your full node uh, of Bitcoin and interacting directly is probably a must because this, is, this guarantees you that you'll be the first uh, in the end. If you don't care about being that, that much of the first, if you just, you know, a couple of hours, you can wait a couple of hours from, from the halving, then you should be fine without the full note, but it's worth uh, thinking about it. So runes versus BRC, there's a good thread here. I'm going to link the entire thread here, by the way. So if you want to read more, just go here. Uh, I think uh, this, uh, this thread by Dread is really good and he covers the differences between runes versus BRC20. Uh, and there are a couple of differences, but basically, uh, UTXO is the uh, is the answer, uh, and this is how runes are operating. So it's a little bit similar to how Bitcoin operating, uh, and why uh, why it's interesting in the end. So if you want to understand more about runes, uh, this is the place to go. What I wanted to mention is just etching versus minting because etching a rune is a little bit like deploying a contract for runes and then people can mint. So if you, for example, know about so uh, meme coins on Solana, then basically you would uh, deploy a contract and then you would mint tokens. Similar things happening with runes, but you etch Runes. This is mean. This means deploying the contract, but the, this is the, the standard contract. There's only one thing that you can de deploy, which is etching. Uh, so you have this etching and minting. Pretty, pretty easy to understand once you think about etching as deploying the contract, and then you have minting as with Solana meme coins. Or uh, I, I think it's not that popular uh, with uh, Ethereum meme coins, but it's definitely popular with Ethereum NFTs. So similar. You have the contract first and then minting. Similar thing with runes, you have etching and then minting. Uh, and then usually uh, in, the, in, in this etching, uh, you, uh, you have the limit on how many you can mint in total which guarantees that you have the total supply uh, known from the beginning. So this is the only thing that you should, uh, you should remember. As I've mentioned, there are a couple of wallets. So Xverse probably uh, the top wallets. They're already talking about integrating runes uh, and uh, are you ready for the rune airdrop? So uh, maybe there will be even some kind of a rune airdrop for Xverse users. Uh, it seems like they, they might be alluding to that. So always worth uh, having setting up a wallet uh, yourself and uh, and preparing for that. Um, and basically, this is it for the for the introduction. As I've mentioned, there are a couple of other projects that I wanted to mention. Also, check out definitely Bitcoin Ordinals, my massive thread with different alpha and collections. This is basically what I analyze sub 1 million uh, inscriptions collections. And I also, for example, talk about the cheapest collections you get on, that get on the market, uh, which is a banks. Uh, the, the link also will be down below in the description. And then coming back to a couple of projects which you can which you can do, then so as, as I've mentioned, there's the Saturn, which is like Uniswap. Uh, we're going to have also Satoshi. Uh, so Satoshi is inscribing service. This is the place where people will be inscribing uh, ordinals, but also will be etching runes. So probably you'll be able to have runes integrated and uh, you'll be able to mint your own runes if you want to with Satoshi. Uh, and finally, we have BitX, which is another uh, decentralized exchange. They're currently running a pre-sale. So if you want to participate, uh, you can send them either uh, Bitcoin on Solana uh, and basically they promised to, to give runes uh, once they, they launched it. So uh, 
I, uh, this is just a mention, of course, nothing here is financial advice. You should uh, always uh, do your own research before jumping to any of those projects, uh, as always, because, you know, crypto is risky, so uh, you should be careful, but definitely runes are super exciting. Uh, if you're looking for a new cool thing in crypto, this is definitely it. And also the fact that it's starting with halving as well, I think this is a really good decision because all eyes will be on halving and people will try to speculate on different things. So definitely looking for different adjusting projects. Projects. I don't talk about rooms and rooms projects here because I think like they will be coming. People are all basically cooking in uh, private right now in stealth mode. So there will be a lot of research happening on the date of uh, Bitcoin halving. So we're going to see how it works. Uh, and for everything else, of course, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to, of course, co cover the halving, cover the rooms, uh, maybe do a live stream uh, once the halving is happening. I'm going to see how much research. Uh, I'll be doing versus uh, trying to buy different stuff, but definitely get prepared and see you in the next video.